I'd like to congratulate both Bev and Jim for being uh, honored as one of the initial members of the Mother Dominican Society for lifetime giving over a million dollars. Uh, that in itself is a remarkable accomplishment. For as long as we've known Jim and Bev, they've always been associated with Briarcliff in some way. In the early days when it was still Briarcliff College, Jim was employed here, Bev was a member of the board, and they were always wonderful donors. I would say that my parents' commitment to Briarcliff is really unmatched. I mean, I think it's obvious to anybody in the community that they have an extreme passion for the university. Um, whether it's academics, the addition to Healan Hall, the physical therapy program, the music. I know my mom, um, I think that's what affects her the most in her life is music. And the sports, I don't think they've ever missed a thing. Um, you know, we always kind of joke because my mom lives, breathes, eats, drinks Briarcliff. So everything around here, the learning labs, everything uh, is, uh, is here because of the service and the donation that, that Ed, Bev and Jim have given to the university over the years. Enrollment increased, new degrees were instituted, programs of study were expanded, uh, buildings were renovated, classrooms were developed. There's just an endless list of accomplishments that both Bev and Jim were dedicated to. My parents have servants' hearts, you know, and I think that have they made sacrifices? Absolutely. Um, would they consider them sacrifices? I really don't think so. You know, I think that the thing that I admire most about my parents is not only do they give, but they give silently. Um, they give joyfully. They give because they know it's going to make a difference in the world. And so I think to them it's more of a fulfilling thing for them, a joyful thing for them not necessarily a sacrifice um, for them and uh, you know I think that they've they've left a pretty good imprint on the university. Remarkable accomplishment of her presidency from my viewpoint was her engagement on the campus and in particular with the students and I think that has really helped the university continue their values and their missions and I think she's been a, a primary leader in that area over the last 15, 20 years. But one of the biggest commitments that struck our eye was as opposed to living neighbors. From her first year of her presidency, she would, we would see Briarcliff, blue Briarcliff vans driving by our house with first semester freshmen, two or three vans, and they would be coming to Jim and Bev's house to have supper with them. Now over the course of the fall, by the end of the fall, all of these freshman students you know, they had a, they were invited and had the opportunity to go to Jim and Beth's house. And of course, the number one hit of the night was all the students getting to see Jim's baseball souvenirs and memorabilia. And of course, he was the hit of the night. Their service, their dedication, their commitment, their presence on our campus is, to me, as impactful. It's tireless. And they have always had a huge dedication to Catholic education and to Briarcliff University. And it shows in their endless work that they do and the giving. And they never ask more of anyone than what they do themselves. And I think my parents continue to do that because when they sit back and look at everybody that they've impacted, I think they have a small hope that there's going to be a good portion of those people that also go out into the world and do the same, make a difference, be a change. Um, so I think for them, that makes everything worth it. That's why they do it.